TTFB measures the amount of time it takes between when a user arrives on a web page and when the server recognizes it. And because TTFB is the very initial interaction, a long time to first byte means the rest of the page can't even begin loading because the server has not yet responded. A website's TTFB is made up of three main processes. The quicker this process is, the faster and more responsive your loading times will be. However, a handful of factors and issues can delay and slow it down throughout each step. How to measure TTFB. Typically, a favorable TTFB falls somewhere between 200 and 500 milliseconds. Of course, the lower the number, the better. Anything above 600 is considered a poor score. Many websites shoot for a sub 100 time, but don't worry, anything below 200 is considered good. There are various tools you can use to measure TTFB. In our blog post linked in the description, we break down three and show you how to use them. Real quick though, let's take a look at web page test. On the results page, you can view a lot of information about your site. Along the top, you can find a general score for your TTFB. In the following section, you can find the time in milliseconds. For every additional 100 milliseconds the TTFB takes, the online tool brings your site score down a letter grade. How to reduce TTFB on your WordPress site. Tip one, upgrade your WordPress hosting. You could optimize your site in every single way possible, but if your host can't keep up, it won't matter. You might wanna consider upgrading to a new hosting provider or a higher performance plan. Additionally, managed hosting for WordPress sites is a huge benefit to TTFB. These services are designed and optimized specifically for WordPress websites. We also recommend looking for a web host that offers premium DNS services. Leveraging premium DNS tools can help reduce network latency and in turn, improve your loading times. Tip two, use a content delivery network. In case you're unfamiliar with the concept, this is a network of distributed servers located around the globe. This means your visitors can load your site from the data center location closest to them, minimizing the time it takes. Some of the most popular options include Google Cloud CDN, Key CDN, and Cloudflare. This can help you significantly reduce network latency, but also help strengthen your site security by preventing threats such as DDoS attacks. Tip three, remove any unnecessary plugins or themes. Plugins and themes can take up a lot of space and even slow your site down, especially when they're outdated. In addition, old extensions can introduce security vulnerabilities and put unnecessary strain on your server and loading times. They might not be optimized as well as they could be, delaying your TTFB because of their code. Make sure your plugins are updated and necessary. Trimming down the number of plugins you have will definitely improve your TTFB. Tip four, implement caching on your website. Caching is a technique used to help minimize server processing time and deliver content more quickly. There are a variety of WordPress cache plugins that you can install on your website. Some of the most popular options include WP Rocket and W3 Total Cache. For more information on TTFB, including frequently asked questions, check out our blog post linked in the description. Additionally, be sure to check out our videos all about FCP, LCP, FID plus CLS and how to optimize your scores for those. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.